I'm here at the laundry. I'm trying to do some steaming because tonight on the show we're going to be exploring the laundry business. I'm going to be meeting up with two entrepreneurs in this particular business. On the first half, I'm going to be meeting up with a gentleman named Max Mburu who runs a laundry business called Hamo, based in Athi River, who's going to be sharing with us some of the insights from his business and the challenges he's been facing in the business. On the second half of the show, I'm going to be linking up Max Tumburu of Lorenzo, one of the biggest brands in this particular business, to share some insights on how exactly their business has been and insights onto their success. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Business Coach, a show in which you're out to help entrepreneurs better their business. My name is Ian Dennis and Karibuni Sana. Let's start off, or rather let's team off. <laughs> Buru, yes. welcome to the show. Yes, I'm Sana. The first question I like asking every entrepreneur that I have on the show is the why. Why did you set up a dry cleaning and a laundry business? Um, my why, to be truly honest, is because I saw a glaring hole that no one is actually really filling. Um, like for me myself, most of my life, I've never really been like, oh, I want to be an entrepreneur. I love entrepreneurship. I want to do this. What did you study? Older. I studied a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> so I did mathematics. So what's a mathematician doing I, at the laundry? I don't know. I, that's what I'm saying. I just I found a hole. Uh -huh. I found a huge hole because now while I was in campus, I was like, wait, you mean no one has this like a good laundry system for like normal kawaii guys like myself? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like. Someone should do this, and I'm like, why isn't anyone doing this? You used to hand wash yourself? Um, I used to get my mango. Funny enough, for me, yeah. I have never bought it in my entire life. So I used to go home. Oh, <laughs> I used to go home the entire time. All right. So at least for me, I was one of those lucky guys who used to take their laundry home, uh -huh. and that was mostly it. Um, but yeah, so but most of the time, when I did move out, though, yes, I used to do laundry myself. I used to wash laundry myself because I, I didn't like the. So the quality of the of the mama fours I was getting. Maybe sometimes they were never some, consistent. They were never consistent. <laughs> no, um, but the they had the moods and it just became it wasn't it was all over the place. Yeah. So I thought maybe I was doing it myself. Uh -huh. So I thought so now I thought about yeah let's 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 see how it goes. So now the idea was there, but before I implemented it, um, I took a trip to the states. Right, um, yeah. I went there for to visit family and to check on a few things here and there. And then while I was in the states. Um, I noticed that in the States, there's like laundromats in every yes. corner. Every corner. It's like you can't pass there, you're always there. So I was like, huh, how come we don't have those same kind of things here? Like I knew in Kenya we had these premiums, like cleaning and all those kind of stuff, yeah. which are very good. But something very general for the normal kawaii guy, like he wants to go and wash his t-shirts. doesn't exist. So I was like, oh, so I came back. Um, I've been working for a very, very long time, so I had a bit of capital saved up and I was like, Let's jump in. So Let's I jumped in. And so yeah. Take me through initial phases. How was it, and why did you decide to set up where I've set up in Athi River? So the main the main branch of setup is in Athi River. Even if our services are in Nairobi and Machakos County. So um, the reason I set up in Athi River was because I believe once again. Um, that um, because Athi River kuna bumbini. Kuna bumbini kuna sola. But mostly because. Um, I believe when starting a business, especially when starting with humble beginnings like me, yeah. it's good to start where you have the most support, where you know the most people. Right? Mm -hmm. So for me, who is like a Daystar alumni, mm -hmm. um, I went to set up right outside Daystar University. School. Right outside Daystar University. And then there you can get your peers, your, your friends, people you know around there, some staff members. It's a community that I knew, and they could give me that initial support before I now start being people who don't know me. Because now if I set up my first branch somewhere in the middle of Anywhere. Uh, you know that day, you're going to be close to home. Close to home. Because now when you go in the middle of nowhere, someone's like, you are a laundry. They're like, who, who are you? Are you a scam? <laughs> like, who the So you're being conservative. So you're being... You charge a hundred book. I saw why. Because How are you making money? You'd be surprised. You'd yes. be surprised. So check me through. Why do you charge a hundred book? What exactly do you put into consideration? Um, so, the, my, some, big, some big expenses which are always there in this industry is, of yeah. course, you have a very high water bill and you have a very high power bill, which is high. But... The reason I like this industry is because they scale with their clients, right? So if ever I have a super high power bill of water, that's a good problem, which means you have tons of clients all. So the, the main thing to look into are your fixed costs. The one, you have to pay rent at the end of the month. Yes, you have to, your pay, guys, water, you have to pay your guys, yeah, all bills. those things. Um, the ones that stick there. So now, if I know to play around it, I think this is where my math came to play, because you work those numbers till they get <laughs> somehow. <laughs> and then secondly, like another thing I was talking, I was talking to Chris about was the way my, my strategy for this business is to scale large. Like some businesses charge a good profit margin to a small amount of people. What I do, or what we are doing, we're trying to get a small margin with tons of people. And the whole point, especially for people who are like us, is this thing needs to be affordable. It needs to be something where 
I can call, you come, you sort me out and Africa board club. Wow, what? How much? What? So the 100 bob is it per kg? Is it per item? How exactly do you choose? That's a good point. So our pricing is 100 shillings per kg of laundry. Uh -huh. So the reason we went in per kg, that was not our first idea. Our first idea was to do per bag. We realized that model didn't really work out per se. <laughs> you give someone a bag, they will, they will, they will shove everything. I'll put my duvel, put everything. everything in that bag. Yeah. So we decided to do per kg. The reason we like the whole bulk thing is because um, our biggest competition, interestingly enough, is the Mama Fuads. And even they don't charge per piece. Some do, but many of them charge per bucket. They say, here's a bucket, put everything in there, and so even they have that kind of mentality of this, this is what we have. Um, and then furthermore, it gives you as a client less to think about. You don't have to think about, okay, so socks are this much, and trousers are this much, and you just give us the load, we tell you this much in weight, we pay once, it's pretty nice. I think in business though, close to a year now. You're yes. actually celebrating a year now. Yes. What have been some of your major challenges? What have you been, what have you seen in business that a math mathematician will not see? <laughs> <laughs> when doing, uh, is it Pythagoras theory? Yeah, all those things. <laughs> <laughs> Pythagoras, that was, the things didn't come pass. Exactly didn't come pass. Hey, I don't know exactly use that thing. It's but a whole, anyway, yes. whole story. Uh -huh. But anyway, um, yeah, things we have seen, some challenges we have seen. So in the first year, um, I think once again, it helps to say that this is not my first startup. I had a business before, right? Which went pretty well. I did it for two years and then I sold my shares to my partner and we moved on. And from there, you pick up a lot of things about business. So we tried the second time around. What business were you in initially? I was doing, I was an adventure. I was an adventure. So we used to do hikes and uh, ah, trips and all those stuff. Travel, 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 yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah. Um, and there you learned a lot about the business. What did you learn from the initial experience? I think most of the hard skills. Most of, not hard skills, most of the technical things. You learned about how to register a business, how to get a contract, how to look for clientele, how to project, all those things which, like for me, I'm honestly, I've never been to business school my entire life or to yeah, graduate classes. So me, I'm like, I, yeah. I, I'm just, you, you jump in and see what happens. Yeah. So most of those technical things I learned that first one. Uh -huh. so, so in this, this experience So in now. this experience now, um, in the first beginning stages, I was kind of shocked to see a bit of, um, um, what's the word? It's not, not, reserved, not more or less some people in government made it a bit hard. Um, for when they see a young person trying to do something, they'd be like, Apple has it, you need to have someone to eat from that. Um, which, can you? Um, kind of, yeah, can you, can you. It can be a bit of an issue there. Um, but you find ways around it. And the reason why for me that's a very, that was a big issue, is because other issues that come up in business, I can handle. Like if they come up within the business, you sort it. You come up within the business, you sort it. But that's an external one. Like there's not much you can do about it. It's out of your control. You and within the business? Within the business, I think one of the biggest ones is balancing um, resources and your clientele and what you're actually receiving. You know? For example, um, we may get a big corporate client you know, and they come and say, yeah, here's our laundry and they bring a bunch. So at first you're like, whoa, that's a lot. So you work it out and you put resources in there to make sure it's all accommodated. And then let's say hypothetically, they never bring in the same amount again. So now you have too many resources and, uh, <laughs> and, less, demand and, demand. and, and, and less revenue coming in. So it becomes a bit tricky to balance all of that. Yeah. Actually, and the final question that I'm asking every entrepreneur, I always have the first and last question. Yes. What would you like to take have more in the next couple of years? What's your dream? What's your vision like? Uh, my friend, that is a big vision. It's a big dream. What is it? I like this because <laughs> we shall revisit. <laughs> we shall revisit. Yeah. Yeah. So the current um, company to be different. I know, I know. For, I know. For us, we're looking a lot. A lot we're looking, we're kind of looking a lot into tech, right? So we want to get to a point where um, everything that happens right now is run from your phone. So we're looking into making an app. Actually, we launched an app um, when we were starting as well, and then um, it was a bit too. It was a bit premature, so we pulled back a bit. But we want to try and revisit that again so that we can make sure that you're able to run these services from your phone. From your phone. Um, we also want to move out. Like I said, now we're in Nairobi as well. So we're trying to get all the clientele we can in Nairobi, trying to open up new branches here and there, um, new bases, I'd say new bases. Because how our business works is people rarely give us laundry. They come to us saying, here, we do delivery. So most people don't even know where our branch is. They just know, I've given you my laundry, it's come back, and everything is fine. You know, So we want to open more branches here and there to help us with logistics. Not to help the client, but to help us with the logistics here and there. And then we've already received a bunch of um, interests from outside the country, because people see our model, they're like, we want this here. We might expand somewhere else. It's, 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 a, it's a model that's, that's easily scalable. Interesting. So it's it got is. a big journey. And I wish you all the best. Thank you we shall much. revisit. We shall revisit. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Anna. Anna. So after the break, I'm going to be linking up Mburu to Grace of Lorenzo, one of the biggest brands in the dry cleaning and laundry business. 
So don't touch that dial, but keep it right here on the Business Coach where we help entrepreneurs better their business.